What's up, guys? Um, I've got a lot of people IMing me and MSNing me. Yeah, I just made that word up. Um, about how to use a dictionary tool and what that is and what it does. Um, that that dictionary that I gave you, that really large one, the thirty the thirty gig one. Um, what that does is it um it cracks passwords without you having to do anything. Um, right now I don't have any like websites that I know of that I really have to gain admin on. A lot of them have been, have been shut down or have their IP banned, have IP, IP, IP banned me. Um, but I will show you how to use a, a program. Um, it's called THC Hydra and it, it was originally made for Linux. So if you have Linux, I'll put a Linux version up in, in the sidebar. Um, if you don't have Linux and you have Windows, which I think many of you might have because you guys really did, were watching this if you had Linux. Um, or, or know anything about hacking. Well, alright, uh, I have, this is my CMD folder, and this is Hydra right here. Basically, it's open up the command prompt, and once you have Hydra, you should have, a, I'm going to give you all these files, right? Um, once you have that, it's, you're going to have a user.txt if you want to make one. Um, you're going to have a password.txt, and this will have a log.txt. The user.txt is where you keep all the usernames you're going to try to try and log into. If uh, you know the username, it's a it's a really big advantage because you don't have to go through a list of names. So and also do do research, make sure you know who a user would be. It's gonna be admin, administrator, uh, like the owner. It that you know like just the, the owner of the site's name. It it depends on who you're trying to uh, root for. But um, this works really well. It works in FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, POP3, uh, HTTP post form it, it works in many different ways and um, I'm gonna show you how to get to how to get to use Hydra. You have to open it up you have to open it up uh, in command prompt because it's a command line tool. Um, so anyway you're gonna go you're gonna use C D and you're gonna go C forward slash and then where if you have it saved. I did C M D that's where I hit my C M D full files. I really don't have many. Once now you'll see it doesn't say C users Lucas it says that's my name. It will say C C M D. So now I can just click Hydra and by doing that, it tells me everything that I can use, the uh, the syntax. Um, I already know what the syntax would be. You're going to start everything off with Hydra. Now, say you're going to use one user. You're going to use lower, you're gonna do, uh, hyphen, lowercase l, and then type the user, so administrator. Uh, administrator. If you don't know what the username is, and you have it from a list of maybe three or four, do not use any more because then you'll, it, you're probably going to get banned or... Um, also, it'll take way too long because the passwords that text. I have another one here. This one's about it's it's pretty small, but it gets the job done. You can use the condensed one, or you can use the, the really big dictionary tool I give you. That will probably get it even better. But if you're going to use a file, you're going to use low capital L, and you're going to use user dot text. Um, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go and use administrator. But I, I don't I don't even have anywhere to use. Uh, so if I have it on administrator, and then I'm going to use backslash or hyphen p capital P password.txt. Remember, these have to match up with the actual uh, file you're using it with. And since I'm already C CD'd into uh, dire in, I'm in my directory, that little stuff in, it knows what that is. Alright, and then you're going to do uh, O and uh, that, what that's going to do is you're going to do logs.txt. You can have the lower, the O has to be lowercase. That's going to tell you where it's going to save your information if it gets the uh, password correctly. And then always do E NS and that checks for a blank or null password. Now that you've done that, you're gonna have to type in the actual address of the website you want to try it on. So, um, we'll do blah.com. All right, that's not the website. Um, if say you want to hack their FTP, you're gonna do blah.com FTP and it's gonna hack them like that. All right. Now, if you want to do something else more complicated, like you want to do it into an HTTP uh, address like uh, a login bar, say on a website, you're gonna do blah.com and you're gonna do HTTP post form form and then you're gonna use um, what would it be? It'd be username. Oh no, you have to do this. You're gonna have to open the quotes up, you're gonna do backslash login if that's the place where it's lo located at, or it could be. Or it could, it, it's most likely going to be login. You have to look around though. Um, 
login. You're gonna do username. Let's go login. Oh yeah, login. Um, and username equals user. Yeah, user. And oops. And password equals pass. And what those little brackets do, those little uh, arrows point up, is that's going to use the, the ones that you used before, password.txt administrator. It's going to fill those in for you. And then when you're done with that, you're going to use, on a, when you fail, make sure you, you, you check what it looks like, what it's going to look like when you fail so that you can uh, have a type word in. So if you type password in that's wrong and it says failure on the page, and it doesn't before, then you can use that word and it will tell you that that's the, uh, that it, that, and that makes the, command prompt in Hydra know that what you typed in was wrong, so it goes to the next word. So you should click enter, and since this is not really a website, well, maybe it might be, I don't know, but you can see it's going to try 114,000 words on port 80, that's the, that's the normal port. Um, let, let's run for a little bit right now, I guess this actually is a website. I'm going to stop this by exiting out, but I will put up this program in the sidebar, that's how you use it, make sure you have all the files in a folder, make sure you CD to that folder, and it should work. Alright, thanks. Bye.